So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Kindergarten. This is going to be part five guys and in this episode I think I'm going to tackle Cindy's mission. This seems to have been a highly requested mission for me to tackle right after I've just done the one I did which was actually murdering everyone and um, pleasing the teacher. Pleasing. Because we managed to do that successfully, guys, we got the special lunch pass. Now, whilst I do want to check what this thing is out, I'm really digging the way the missions are going with the little characters within. I think it's really great fun. And actually, to do Cindy's, I need to see what I gotta do first. You can see for Cindy, I've done nothing so far. So, so the first step for this one is you need to get rid of bugs in the schoolyard. Start the day with more than three dollars. And flashbacks, though. I, I know that bugs likes to, uh, you know, pound on people with more than three dollars. Is it worth it? Let's find out. I'll see how long the episode comes out to though, guys, because I either want to tackle this mission, and if it's like a shorter one, I may do another character's mission alongside that, or we can always check out what the special lunch pass is. We'll determine afterwards, guys, but you know the question. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Oh, yes, I am. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm lying. I have no money. Now I'm ready to start my day, so hmm, we already know what's going to happen here. Yep. Here we go. We knew it was coming. We're going to call for the teacher. She's going to come over and we are going to get Bugs expelled straight away. Get him out of the picture. Bugs, how dare you attack another student unprovoked again. All right, that gets rid of that guy. So I think that's how we start Cindy's mission. So I think the next step might be to go and talk to Cindy. Plus we go and get that gold star as well. Yes. So we want to be Cindy's boyfriend. Her bloody boyfriend, apparently. Want to be my boyfriend? Sure thing. That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. Heard it all before. Aha. So this is what we have to do the thing for. For her. You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah, I guess so. This is gonna be so great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Wait, what the freak did she do? Okay, thinking too far ahead. Come find me for morning time after you've done it. Okay, we could have asked what happened to her brother. I kind of wish I did. Does Cindy know more than what we initially thought? I don't really know, dude. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Yeah, I know. She gave this to you? Wow, she can't even do her own dirty work. I'm ugly enough without having gum in my hair. So thanks for not doing that. Wait, I didn't do it? No problem. Wait, hold up. So, so now I've got a donut? I feel like I've done a side objective here. Okay, I figured I did this one wrong, guys. I think what I've got to do is wait until morning time and then put the gum in her hair. This does actually give me chance, however, guys, to check out what happened to her brother. So let's ask this. You haven't heard? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog. Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Maybe so. Your dog went missing too? I care about you. That would get our boyfriend marks up, right? Yup, that's why you're gonna stick that gum in Lily's hair during morning time. Come see me after you've done it. Okay, so with that all done and dusted out of the way, I guess we're just gonna proceed to morning time. Let us go and find ourselves a buddy. Lily is right here. I'm wondering if I do it in front of everyone. I don't know if people are gonna see, but it says right there, put gum in Lily's hair, and we didn't have that option last time. I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my- You put gum in my hair? That, that's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. Well, if you don't care, why are you freaking crying, Lily? Stop lying. That has now been done. Let's go and talk to Cindy. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow. What happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Bruh. This girl's freaking dark, man. She cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. Okay, then. But before we do that, you need to get cleaned up. No way any boyfriend of mine is going to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I'll be over by the dollhouse. Okay because we got freaking beaten up by bugs, you know, because we had to. Okay, it's a sink. Wash off the blood. That's exactly what we need to do. Go to the bathroom to clean ourselves up. We are now all done here. I don't think there's anything we need with the janitor. So, I mean, let's just head on back. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to be making me dinner tonight. Yes, dear. Why do I have to make dinner? I think I left something in the car. <laughs> I think we should probably agree with her, you know? And after that, I need you to... Have you been drinking again? No, honey, I'm just tired. Yes, dear. Wait, what? Uh, let's just say, I mean, if we lie, she might get angry, but if we tell the truth, she might also get angry. I, I see no win-win here. Let's say, no, honey, I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing into this then. Is that a breathalyzer? I told you I'm fine. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> we should say that one. I told you I'm fine. There's that temper my mother warned me about. She was so right about you. Take your stupid flask back. You obviously care more about it than you do about me and all your unborn child. What the freaking unborn child? I, well, while you're in prison, it, it's probably not your- What have you done? You cheated on me? I want a divorce, we can work through this. I don't want to play anymore. We've got to agree. Let's say that one and we can work through this. <laughs> 
You think so? Yes, I do. <laughs> the other suggestion, though. <laughs> Alcoholism aside, you really are a great guy. So, what should we do about the, the baby? Um, we should keep it or abort it. Let's keep it. That's so wonderful that you would do that. Thank you. No problem. I mean, I'm only doing it because I know I, I want to. I want this freaking mission done. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay, we're well on track, guys. Great, I'll see you then. Sure thing. Assignment complete. Playhouse with Cindy. Okay, and now, guys, we're heading to lunch. Let's go and do this. So because Bugs isn't here, we can have lunch with Cindy. Ah, I get it. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have slob. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Hey, sweetie, would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, um, like, I, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. So just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. So I think Monty does have some vegan stuff right here. I'm just hoping I have enough now for the salad. There's the salad. Don't be more than 275, please. It's 75 freaking cents, dude. Let's get it. What did you get me? Here's a salad. Ugh. A salad? Now that I think about it, I guess that would be vegan, huh? Why did I do this to myself? I don't freaking know. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. Well, Ooh. thank you! I should use you for something at recess. Hmm, I have an idea. What might that be, hey, Cindy? I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum, but maybe we could put something else in there. Jerome was telling me how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. Is it? It's the key, man. Let's take the key. Man, now we have the janitor's key. Yep, a girl has her ways. But you're like three. I'm gonna head over and pay off the lunch lady so you can get going on down that nasty closet. Okay. Oh, that silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bow while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Oh, dude, this sounds like a freaking sneak mission right here. You're good to go. Hurry back. Okay. We have two of the apples in the bottom right corner. I think we should be okay. So this was something I wanted to do before. This is the door to the janitor's closet. We're gonna unlock the door. Now we're in. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. Look at this place, man. Stolen stuff. So we can't quite reach that one. He's got a plant of some kind here. I mean, dude, this place is freaking messed. What's in here? There's a note, a monster one card, and a $5 bill. Ugh. Let's not take anything because each of those is an apple. We need to make sure we've got the goods to get out of here as well. It's a bucket that's catching the blood from that thing on the table. This would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. We're gonna take it. So we've taken it. Hold up. Now that the bell has ring, we gotta get the freak out of here, man. Oh! Did the slab give you the wrench? Sorry about that! Hope it worked itself out! What? Out of me, or...? What do you mean? All the other kids are at recess now! Get run along! Okay, we have one of the apples left. We've got five apples in total. So the first thing I'm gonna do is now I need to talk to Cindy. I've got the bucket filled with blood. We should be okay. Well, what did you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh. My. God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Uh, never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, I mean freaking even. Come on. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. I'm gonna get into position. Oh. My. God. Dude. This is freaking dark. Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I feel so bad for Lily, dude. I'm only doing this for the mission. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Oh, man. Here we go. It's in our hands now, right? We gotta do it, you know? We got no ch- Holy crap. Ah! What did you just- Oh, you and your awful boyfriend sent me again. I'm so done with this. You've made me miserable for so long. Oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. Damn, Cindy, you freaking taking digs? You're just so mean. I can't take anymore. No, don't jump down Nugget's hole. Goodbye, cruel world. It's too late, Nugget. I mean, if you didn't dig the hole, it wouldn't have happened, so you're responsible enough to believe some reason. Wow, that hole is deep. Do you think she died? Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. So now that we've done that, I think we've done everything we need to do, guys. That was so great. You've made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty like me. This way, you'll always have a little piece of me with you. I'm gonna take Cindy's flower. Oh dear. Has anyone seen Lily? I don't see her anywhere. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever god your messed up family believes. If Lily fell down that hole, you dug, I'm pushing you in after her. We're about to get him killed, aren't we? Nugget will not give the teacher the satisfaction. Teacher will never take Nugget alive. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like that, he committed suicide. <laughs> wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. What, they're dead bodies? Oh, Mr. Janitor! I'm coming. Oh wait, it was Irish. I'm coming, I'm coming. What seems to be the problem there? <laughs> Come on.
Come on, Janet. Ed. Since that point, she has married. See what I did there? <laughs> I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No. I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh. Well, that's less fun, but I guess I can do that. It might take a while, though. Might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. Okay, children, we're going to cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. I mean, we've got to keep complimenting Lily throughout the whole of this, so let's show her flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about that? It is not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just gonna skip you and move on to something more interesting. Okay, who's next? It's not gonna be hard to beat that, so don't be shy. <laughs> and then the day I think is finished. I mean, there we go, show and tell is over. There's the final battle of the day. So what happens next? Do we talk to Cindy, maybe after school? We're actually gonna talk to Cindy. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always. Oh joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. Oh man, that breaks the fourth wall so bad. Or well, no, it doesn't actually. But it breaks the boundaries of the game. So we did all of the objectives for Cindy, but we're never going to see this next day because it's just Monday again. Check it out. I, I want Tuesday, bro. How do I get Tuesday? Ah, so there is the flower right there. This is the flower Cindy gave to me for being a good boyfriend all day. Perhaps I could show it to someone who needs a little love in their life. That would mean Lily, right? Ooh. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to take the flower to school, man. Let me just check the hints a second. Oh, wow. Hold up a second. I'm just checking out Lily's thing. It says you need to have special items from Monty, Nugget, and Bugs. We've actually done none of their missions. Looking at things, I think... We have to get all of the items to do Lily's mission. I think hers is one of the most difficult ones, judging by this. All right, guys, do you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm actually going to do Bugs' mission. It's only five parts. And another huge factor in this as well is that I think to do Lily's mission, you need to have all of the items from these guys. So I need to get cracking down on these missions. I'm also going to take this with me. So even if I fail Bugs' mission, I'm just going to use this and see what happens. So now that I have the special pass with me, I hope it's not like a one-take thing and I can never use it again. Ah, you see, it says you need a special item from the teacher before you can complete. So by me taking that special pass thing that we got, that was actually really valuable. Then the next thing is to tell on Bugs for robbing you, but don't agree to start a fight. So this is going to like reorient the way things go with this thing. So instead of him fighting us, maybe we'll be able to kind of get around this. So we don't want to agree to start in a fight right here. So we can just say no way to all of this. I must say, I'm not a fan of my darling students telling me no. I sure hope nothing bad happens to you today. That would be just dreadful. Uh, me too. We didn't agree to start a fight. Let's go talk to Bugs about this, bro. You owe us. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not gonna give you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. I mean, we didn't tell on him, so... What's good? Psst! Hey, kid! Ooh, this is where it... Dude, this game is so good. I heard about what the teacher was trying to do to me. All Applegate has had it out for me for a while now. It's nice to see that someone is willing to stand up to her. No problem, bro. Yeah. It actually is a problem. She's probably setting something up to get you in trouble as we speak. That's how I got my first two strikes. If she gets me again, I'll be expelled. Would that be so bad? Considering the last kid to be expelled was... Man, this is all linking together. So Billy got expelled, man. We know already that the guy leading the school is a murderer. It's putting two and two together right here, isn't it? We should work together to get her before she gets us. I'm freaking in, dude. Let's do this. Smart move. Take this. If she tries anything funny with you, don't be afraid to use it. A freaking knife? Look, something awful is happening at this school. Everyone knows it, but no one talks about it. I'm not about to go down without a fight. Maybe you're paranoid or good freaking point. Good point, dude. We need to find a way to get the old gal alone. I don't want any witnesses telling. First option, it all pays off. Well, look at you, little Miss Teacher's pet. That's going to make this a whole lot easier. So after morning time is over, you're going to have a very special lunch with her. And just kill her straight up, pretty much. Just wait until her back is turned and strike. I'll be waiting outside. Will she turn her back? Hmm, good point. We're going to need a distraction of some sort. See if Monty has anything good to do the job. All right, man, let's take a look. So, Monty, what you got for us, dude? Let's try and buy something. So, got anything to cause a distraction? Sorry, don't have anything like that at the moment, but I'll tell you what. I'm pretty handy with gadgets. If you can find me some sort of gadget device, I can rig it to whatever you need. Where can I find one? The principal gives them out to kids he finds suspicious. I saw Nugget with one the other day, but he likes having it. Only gives it to the kids who are trying to be his friend. So, all we're going to do is talk to Nugget, and hopefully, we'll get the option to take it from him. Nugget wants the magnifying glass then, doesn't he? Or maybe we needed to get the nugget thing before. Let's go and get this magnifying glass. Okay, we're gonna take the magnifying glass. He's gonna come back. He's gonna be peed, but whatever, man. Can we give this to Nugget now? Yes, we have. Excellent. Nugget is pleased you may have this monster mon card. So it's not quite the route we want to go. That does give us a monster mon card. I think then at the start, we need to talk to Nugget and get the nugget trust thing. Whatever it is. <laughs> 
Apparently, it says in the steps that what we have to do is give Nugget the flower. It's an option right there. This was given to you by Cindy. Yes, there is great love in this flower. She really cares for you more than the other seven boyfriends she's had this week. So there are things Nugget has seen, but is told to forget. Nugget forgot love. I do not wish to forget anymore. Take this Nugget of friendship. So we get the Nugget. This just gives us like another route. So this is more for Nugget's mission. Oh shoot, hold up, he just gave me something. Nugget insists you hold on to this strange device. Should you succeed in this task, Nugget will reveal to you what it does. Okay, let's just accept. No more talking now, shoot. All right, let's get back to where we was before. This is when he tells us he doesn't have the distraction, but we do now have the device. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It'll cost you 150 to get this done. Are you good with that? Man, dude, we're good. Just a solder here, rewire that timer to pass through that capacitor, set the receiver to the correct frequency, more technobabble that makes me seem smart, and it's done. Here's the remote. All you have to do is press that button, and this little doodad you gave me will pop like a firecracker. It's only good for one use, though, so be careful with it. Freaking got it, dude. So, what do we want to do now? Let's just go and talk to Bugs. Well, did you get something to cause it? We did, my friend. Go ahead and stick it under one of the front tables. You'll be glad you did. Alright, my friend. So, let's just hope this thing doesn't blow up on us. So, we can put it under any one of these. Can we put it under this table, too? Only one of the front two. Let's put it under the Monty table, I guess. We're gonna do it, but... Okay, the teacher didn't even see that. Dude, I'm good. Now, all we have to do is wait for the lunch bell to ring. We should probably avoid being seen together from this point on so she doesn't get suspicious. Sure thing, my dude. We got that special lunch pass, so I guess we just... Proceed ahead as normal, so we can use our lunch pass here. Oh, fiddlesticks. Very well, you can have special lunch with me today. And here we go. Having special lunch with my favorite student instead of getting a smoke break is one of my favorite things about teaching. Here's a silly McGlob's meal. Knock yourself out. Go on, have a bite. It's delicious and possibly nutritious. Or we can activate our distraction, dude. Bang. There Whoa, there we go. Freaking yes, dude. Oh, my, my, my. What an addicting was that? Did it come from in here? This is where we make our move. Oh. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ah! We did it, bro. You little bra. I'm gonna... Oh, dear. Ew. Ah! I heard her scream. So it's done, right? Wow. I can't believe you actually did it. Take the knife out of her. It's got our fingerprints all over it. She's probably got a phone on her, too. Ah, get the phone. I think I'll take that. The bell is ringing. That's the bell. Let's get out of here. Recess is about to start, and I don't want anyone to notice we were missing out on lunch. Come see me at recess, and I'll help you hide that knife. Oh, man. The Janet is here. Go on along and play, little child. Why are you out here? Your teacher ran off drawing lunch. She isn't picking up her phone, either. Probably got sick of having to deal with you all day. I'm out of here to make sure you don't kill each other. I'm sure he'd like that, though, wouldn't he? Bugs, my dude, what's good? It's clear someone noticed that the teacher is missing. Otherwise, that old lunatic wouldn't be watching us while we're out here. We need to hide that knife before we go back inside. Where can we hide it? The only place I'm seeing is that whole Nugget dug. Only problem is that Nugget can be territorial and we're not exactly friends. Maybe you could convince him to bury it for us? I mean, we can try, man. Yo, Nugget, please do us a favor, man. Can I hide something in the hole? You wish to make a contribution to the Nugget cave? What do you wish to contribute? Let's just say a knife. Oh my. This knife has known bad things. Nugget can tell. Nugget does not want us in the Nugget cave, but we're friends, remember? You have a Nugget of friendship? Very well, you may add the knife of evil to the Nugget cave. Yeah, dude. We got rid of it, man. Hot damn. I can't believe we're about to get away with this. Just keep you cool when we go back inside and everything will work out. I'm covered in blood, but what about a phone? Don't you worry about that. Just keep your eyes open and be ready when the time is right. Okay, you rotten kids. That's the bell. Get your worthless hides back inside. All right, let's do this. But the freaking principal, dude. Children. I have some bad news. If you look to your right, you'll see your formerly unstaffed teacher. <laughs> oh my god, is there a murderer on the loose? It's probably the creepy janitor. We've already cleared the janitor. He was in the cafeteria selling biscuit balls when we heard her death occurred. She had it coming to her, dude. Keep it chill, don't be saying that. First Billy, now this, we're not safe at this school. This is totally gonna tank my sales for the rest of the week. Enough! Nugget likes the way she smells now. Shut up, weirdo. Take one of your pills or something. Anyway, I need to search all of you to make sure you aren't carrying anything that could have been used to kill her. We'll start with you, the one covered in blood. Empty your pockets. Doesn't like, like you have anything on you. Okay, let's go on and search Bugs next. Does Bugs have the phone though, man? Sly little bugger, did you see that? Doesn't like you have anything incriminating on you either. Well, it looks like no one here is responsible for killing the teacher. That being said, I'm sending you all home because, well, your teacher is dead. Are we done? Did we seriously crack down on two missions in one day? Well... We did it. We got away with murder. Trust me when I say this was for the best. I hope so, dude. We did it under your freaking pretense. Do you still have that phone? I handed it off to you while I was walking to get searched. Pretty sneaky, huh? You know what? Why don't you keep it? A little token of my appreciation. Maybe you can use it for something on another day. Cool, thanks. This was fun. Maybe we should do it again someday. I'll see you around, kid. Maybe we should do it again someday. 
we're, we're hanging around with murdering people. The day is freaking done. Super bully, dude. We got the teacher's phone as well. This has been an intense episode, dude. This is the phone that Bugs took off of her corpse. I can barely say that. There are contacts of various staff members of the school saved in here. Dude, that's how it ties in then with Lily. We're going to leave that there for now, but I guarantee if we manage to get on a mission with Lily, it's going to involve like ringing the phone and then it's going to have like the principal's contact. Do you remember when we got pulled in with Nugget? We could probably get him out of the office. I see how this is happening, man. I'm down. I'm down. This has been Kindergarten, though, guys. This was another episode. A very successful one, my ad, and I really enjoyed these campaigns for this one. If you guys also did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.